Can you really edit videos on this portable Lenovo Chromebook to it? We will find out in this video. So I have been using this Lenovo Chromebook to it from last one year and it's an, an incredible device. It's a portable device that supports full desktop grade Google Chrome browser which supports Chrome extensions. So you can do anything what you can do on a computer in a tablet form factor. And I've already done a review about it, talked about its pros and cons in a video on this channel but and I still get questions about whether this machine can do this or can this machine do that so I have made a list about the things people want to know about this Chromebook and in this video let's talk about whether or not you can edit videos on this machine I never gave it a thought about editing videos on this machine I've already have a powerful machine I edit my videos in MacBook and even on my mobile phone I love KindMaster app it's one of the best apps available for Android where you can edit videos it is also available for iOS but there are other options available for iOS as well but for Android it is one of the best apps so this Chromebook also supports Android. This means you can enable Google Play Store services on this device and you can install the KindMaster app from the Play Store on this device. KindMaster is a premium app. It has a premium subscription which is around $19 that roughly translate into 1200 rupees but you can also use it for free. But the problem is that it will have a the end product, the final product after editing, exporting the video, you will get a watermark of the KindMaster logo on somewhere on the right hand side. So it is it's perfectly fine if you want to try it out like I am trying it out right now to tell you guys whether this is able to handle video editing or not. So to edit videos you will require footage and you can get footage from your DSLR camera or your smartphone. If you are recording your footage from your DSLR camera then you will required to put that SD card into this device but this device does not have any kind of slot SD card micro SD card slot it only has got one type C so you will require something like this it's a type C dongle and pretty much every Chromebook has got type C even MacBooks have got type C so this type C dongle is very important it gives you a lot of options you can have different type of devices to your computer so it has got SD slot so you can put that SD slot here and connect it to the Lenovo Chromebook do it and get access to the footage and if you're using your mobile phone camera for recording videos you can wirelessly transfer footage to your Chromebook by using AirDroid app it is equivalent to AirDrop it is not that intuitive or not that great but it gets the job done you will have to install the AirDroid app on your Chromebook as well as on your mobile phone and you can connect both the devices and then access the files the footage on your mobile phone in the Chromebook and then download the footage on your mobile phone to your Chromebook open the KindMaster app on the Chromebook and then create a new project open the project and add the footage to your timeline you can access the footage from the top right hand side area of the KindMaster it is like what you open on your mobile phone so you can access the footage the videos and then you can add the footage into the timeline and then you can cut the timeline that pieces that you don't want and keep the pieces that you want and try to form a rough storyline and then you can add effects like transitions text and there are other assets as well some are premium assets which for which you will require the premium subscription and if you have got subscription uh, you can use those effects to enhance your videos you can also add music from the KindMaster app itself there are some albums available and you can add external songs music into the KindMaster and then add to your video timeline and then export the video once you've exported you can upload it on the platform of your choice the platform that you use for your videos now talking about my experience I did not have a great experience because I'm already used to editing on a powerful machine and this is not powerful enough it is powered by MediaTek Helio P60T which is not that great chipset it's a fairly old chipset and if you buy a smartphone of the similar price range like it's available for rupees 25,000 rupees if you get a smartphone 
for rupees 25,000 rupees, you will get a more powerful chipset in that mobile phone and you will be able to edit videos on your mobile phone much faster. Talking about the UI of the KindMaster app, it is also similar to that you get on your mobile phone. So it is not optimized for bigger screens, which means everything is bigger. There is no extra tools or extra menus available on the screen so that you take advantage of the bigger screen and edit fast. And the other thing is that mobile phones can be easily held with both the hands and you can use both the hands to speed the process up. Unlike on a bigger tablet form factor device where holding it with two hands but you cannot use both your hands for editing or speeding up the workflow of the video. You surely have got the portability option better than laptop so you can detach the keyboard of the Lenovo Chromebook to it and sit on a couch or casually edit your videos. You can do that but it is not as great as editing videos on your laptop. So, so if you have a laptop, I would suggest you use your laptop. For me, even though it is portable, but I would rather take my laptop with me anywhere I go to edit videos than taking this portable device and struggling to make adjustments in editing. Like the process of editing videos is little slower because of the slower processor. Other than that, I'm not complaining about it. So if you are thinking of buying this device for video editing, I think this is not the device for editing videos. Mo your mobile phone would be better. And if you already have this, try not editing videos on it. You can utilize this device in your workflow. You can write scripts on it because it is portable. You can take it at places where you cannot take your laptop and it is always better to type on a keyboard, physical keyboard and a bigger screen than to type on your mobile phone. So you can obviously type faster in comparison to your mobile phone. So you can write scripts and you can uh, do those kind of taking notes and do th those kind of things on this machine. But I would not recommend to specifically buy it for that purpose or maybe for editing purpose also. So Chromebooks are very niche products and if you have something to do inside the Google Chrome browser where you would require Chrome extensions also then this is a great device because it is portable other than that there is really no use case as of now at least for this Lenovo Chromebook do it because the processor is obviously like I told you it's slow so this is it in this video I hope you liked it if you liked it you can thumbs up you can subscribe and uh,